Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I'm back with a Mass Make Monday. Uh, today I want to make some envelopes from book pages and other um, sources. So I'm looking specifically at bigger books with that's too big to use in my journals. Um, and so I'm just harvesting a couple of images here. Maybe this one. That would be pretty too, but let's not be go crazy. And then let's use a map. Just look for a map with some interest on it. This is a Atlas of Canada and let's do a vintage magazine. This one is beautiful British Columbia fall of 1973 and that might be nice. So I do have a template here that I cut. I opened up, uh, it's very glary and maybe you can see it. I opened up an envelope and um, used, you know, just traced it on a transparency so I can see, but like I thought maybe this will work, but the flap will be too short. So this image won't work. And I put it on a transparency so I can see what would be, you know, what what image, especially with something like this, what image will be on my envelope once I've torn it out. Like this. No, this won't work either. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. And then I have some, this was just the instructions of the bookshelves for my, that I built for my craft room that I thought I can use. I have a, and I dyed that with, that was cabbage dyed and this one is dyed with food coloring, just music page. And these are the, um, parchment paper I put on my countertop when I'm dyeing my papers. I kind of put it underneath and put the wet papers on here. So I thought this might make a good um, envelope. And this is fab. This is parchment paper too that I have added some gesso and inks on and just played around with it. But it has a really nice feel. It almost feels like leather. And then I have some, I've already gone through some other books that I want to make envelopes from. This is a book about Great Britain and the houses and I thought I'll make one of the Queen. And this is that book I found at the thrift store with the um, front pages of the Los Angeles Times and I have a children's book this is from a gardening book, both of the, all three of these. So we'll see what we can come up with. So this one I didn't try with my, but yeah, this one won't work. So we won't use that image. So all I do then next is, my desk is very messy as I take my transparency and I simply make the outline on my book page. And I'll cut it out. And I'll just, because it's a mass make, I'm just going to continue doing the same thing for all these pages. Uh, 
Then I'll cut all of them out and we'll glue all of them. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. And like I said, I use a transparency because then I can see what will be on the front of my envelope. So like obviously this, I want both of their faces on the front part of my envelope. Okay. I just want to thank everybody again for subscribing and watching my videos. I am overwhelmed with the amount of people that has have subscribed. Um, thank you so very much. I can't thank you enough. I kind of started this whole process not sure what it will bring, but I definitely am having fun and learning lots of new things, challenging myself every day because I have to tell you computers are not my strong point. It kind of makes me very anxious but it's just because I don't use it every day so I was not sure if I would be able to you know do these YouTube kind of videos so this one won't work either so I am um, it is definitely encouraging oh, this one um, the fact that all of you uh, so many people has subscribed and are actually watching <laughs> every day or each week thank you so very much and thank you for all the kind comments there's so many of you that's so incredibly kind it's just definitely wonderful to read all the comments every day Thank you very much. So I, how are all of you doing? We are having a very rainy gloomy day but I like that kind of weather. It makes especially in you know in the spring we have rain in the spring because in the spring I kind of have to be outside in the garden cleaning and working but if it's a rainy day I don't feel guilty for spending some time in my craft room and not outside because you know kind of have to spend as much time or I feel like I have to spend as much time as possible outside because soon it would be winter and all of us will be thinking you know then we'll just be oh I wish it was summer so in the summer I kind of feel I have to spend as much time as possible outside. And we do, I do have a huge garden. <laughs> Needs a not, lot of cleaning after the fall. And preparing for the summer. If I don't want to just work in the garden in the summer, if I do want to enjoy my garden in the summer, I do need to clean up and put in some hours in the garden in the springtime. Then in the summer I have time to simply pick some roses and I like watering my garden even though we do have irrigation I still like to go out there and water the garden with a hose. So yeah and I hope all of you, we had Mother's Day um, on Sunday, so I hope all of you had a good Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day. I know, I think some countries in Europe has Mother's Day on a different date, if I'm not mistaken, a little earlier. Yeah, but we had Mother's Day on Sunday. OK. 
Okay, did I draw all the lines? I'm not sure. Let's do this one over here. So yeah, the easiest way if you don't have a transparency template so you can see, the easiest way is obviously to find um, some design, you know, like this one that, that doesn't matter where I cut this one out from. Or like the music paper, doesn't matter. But if you have like a magazine image or a printed image, you do need to remember some of it, if it's directional, some of it will be upside down. And, um, you know, just keep that in mind. It's not a big deal. I'll show you when I glue these together. And I do like to make, I mean, I do like to have lots of envelopes in my journals because you know, it just gives you a place to tuck in a piece of paper for if you have something personal that you want to write. And it's just an interesting pocket as well. I'm going to make one from this vintage um, wallpaper. This one's not directional. Maybe it is. It is. <laughs> It is directional. Look at that. I would have cut the flowers upside down. Okay. This is a vintage wallpaper that I found at the thrift store. I think I'm, there's no date on it, but I would say this would be maybe 80s, 90s. Okay, so I think now we have enough. Let's start cutting out. This is such a big piece of paper. Yeah, so I just cut a piece off from the wallpaper. And if you have, you know, like wallpaper because it's been on a roll for a long time. So what I usually do is I cut a small piece off from the roll and then I roll it up in the opposite direction of what it was rolled. So the inside of the wallpaper is on the outside of my roll. And then I just put two elastics on both sides. So like this one, I roll up this way. So the design is on the inside and then I just add an elastic on the ends and so then when you get to, when you want to use it, it will be straight and not try to roll the other way. Like this one, I think I'm going to just maybe put it underneath one of these. Oh, there, it's okay. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I was, I haven't, didn't do all my videos last week, so I kind of feel like I'm behind on a lot of things. But I have, was feeling under the weather, I had some kind of virus, I don't know exactly what, but wasn't feeling very well from Wednesday all the way through to Saturday. So I'm very happy to feel a little better than I did. It was not a good feeling. And um, we had a busy weekend. My daughter's birthday was on the 3rd, but she only had her party um, on Friday. So that, we had a couple of girls here. They went out for dinner because it's her 18th birthday. 
He didn't want to do anything at home. And then the girls came home. She had a very quiet party. <laughs> they came home, watched movies and giggled all night. And I hope all of them had a good time. So for this and the the parchment and I like the wallpaper I will use art glitter glue just because it dries quickly and I find that it it can glue almost anything together. Um, Um, I don't know if you know if there's any other kind of glue that works with the parchment paper. Let me know in the comments. And so yeah, as you could see, I used bigger image, bigger um, book pages. So if you have lots of bigger book pages, this is the perfect. Um, project for it like envelopes, little pouches, uh, your ba if you make handmade bags that's perfect for the bigger page pages as well because I do find a lot of times especially with the children's books they have beautiful images but they're just too big to fussy cut or um, you know, if you add it as a page in your, like this image as a page in your book, you have to fold it this way. I don't like it when the image is up, you know, sideways. I don't know. There's probably nothing wrong with it, but I don't just don't like doing that. So you either have to hinge the pages together, which is just extra work. So I prefer to do something else with these bigger images, bigger book page images. Oh, I'm having a tough time seeing the pencil line on this one, but I think I made it on this one. And of course these envelopes are great if you want to send happy mail with some handmade articles or maybe small stamps or you know smaller items you want to send in a happy mail or if you make your own little handmade bags. This is a double page. I'm just going to cut two envelopes out of this. And then once you've made your envelopes, obviously you can decorate them. Like this one, I would most probably, just because there's nothing pretty on here, you know, I would glue or maybe add some gesso on this be first and then glue on some botanical images or you know birds butterflies whatever you use to decorate so this one's going to be tough to see again <laughs> let me see oh there it starts over here yeah, if you're in the thrift store and you see these big books and you're wondering, oh, what am I going to do with it because it's so big, this is definitely an option. Not obviously like this would be perfect for collage. So when I saw this book, I didn't think twice, I just bought it because there were so many pretty images in there. And something like this, because it's already very busy, I probably won't even decorate. Like, on th there's an image on this side too. Anyway, we'll see once I've folded it what I want to do with that. So 
So yeah, these bigger images, you don't necessarily have to use the entire image. Think of ways that you can cut it up. A lot of times, especially the children's books, those big pages, if you cut them up, you know, into, if you look at the individual little images in those bigger books, you know, say for instance, where's mine? Like this one, I could have cut that out and even maybe her face and use that. So you can cut these images up. You don't have to obviously use the entire big image in your book. I don't think I will... So the whole process of mass making is just... Even if you're not making a lot of journals and you feel like you don't need 20 envelopes or 20 tags, you know, some if you do send out happy mail, it's good to sometimes have things on hand because, you know, somebody sends you happy mail, you want to send them something back as soon as possible, most probably. And you don't always have time to make things. So then mass making, if you already made, if you have 10 tags on hand, you can send somebody else three or four of those tags that you've already made. And sometimes even if I just journal, it's nice to just have something on hand already that I can just grab and put in my personal journal without sitting there for another two hours making something from scratch. Not really two hours, but you get the idea. Okay, we're almost done with the cutting. Love this image. I should show you. Uh, where's that book that I've used? Oh no! Of course, on the bottom. Sorry, I'll be. This I got this from this book. Mm. I love these books. They are in the in the back. They have all of these little squares, and you can fussy cut them or just cut out the squares. So. Keep an eye open for these books. There's lots of different ones. Vegetable ones, ugh, obviously flowers, spot plants, all kinds of things. I've seen a couple of them in the thrift store and I love them. They're a little glossy as you can see, but not too bad. It's not a high gloss paper. Okay, and the last one. So the reason, I mean, I, I don't have an envelope punch board. If you have an envelope punch board, obviously you can use that too. But um, with these images, I like to see what will be on the front of my envelope. I won't be able to do that with a punch board. Um, that's why I use the transparency. And obviously you can make all kinds of sizes of envelopes. Okay, so now we're done with that. And now we're just going to Fold them over. Okay, let me make some room here. Just fold them over and then we'll glue. This one. 
That one is a little smaller. Don't know what I did there, but let's just fix that. <laughs> I think this one I'll, I'll glue like that most probably. Just because I have this. Maybe I'll just cut these white pieces off. I don't like that. And even on here, I'm just going to make it a straight flap. Okay, so we're just gonna fold. Let's make this one straight as well. Just because I don't like that white. And that would be my flap. Oh, now it's not working anymore. Anyway, I'll keep playing on this with that one. This one, so you, it's pretty straightforward. You just keep folding. Probably should have brought my scoring tool, bone folder, not my scoring tool. So this one, let's fold it and see which way we like the most. that. Oh, I think I'll use the other side just because I should have cut the head. I shouldn't have cut the head off of that little lady there. So yeah, maybe I won't glue these ones shut yet because I do think I'm going to add some gesso on them. I'll finish those ones off camera. And if, like for instance, these, because they are a glossy paper, if you don't like the glossiness, you can always just paint some matte medium on top of your page. And that takes away the glossiness. This is the one that I would, oh my goodness, would um, glue with maybe, I think I will do it that way. And if you do have some pencil marks like I do here that you don't want to see, obviously that's why I'm using the pencil, you can just erase it. And if you do want an envelope that you can lick and glue shut, I know there is companies who sell that kind of glue for envelopes especially. So you put it on, it dries, and then you have to wet it again to seal it. But because I'm just using mine, I'm not going to mail this. And even if you mail it, you can just glue it with a glue stick. You don't need that fancy glue anyway, but if you do want it, stuff like that is available. Um, what was I saying? I'm going to use mine in my junk journal, so I'm not going to worry about that. Do try this. I love the feeling of this paper. I can't explain it to you. It, it really it feels like um, leather. It's this. It just takes on a very different with the gesso on the parchment paper. It takes on a different feel. The paper. It's just. I'm very <laughs> surprised by it. I. This was a. Uh, this is not very straight. This was just. You know. I had it on. Um, just underneath m on my table while I was doing some stenciling with gesso and texture paste and so I thought oh well I'll just do this at the end 
and um, yeah, so I'm very surprised at how this that came about. Oh, I forgot to cut this out. Okay. Oh, I don't know. They're not folding very straight. <laughs> make coin envelopes the coin envelopes you can you'll need you don't need a big page image obviously because it's way smaller you don't have the big fat flap yeah this is my queen envelope and this is from the children's book page Okay, so now the next thing you need to do is simply glue everything. So with this one the flaps go on over and you simply glue the flaps shut. And because I'm not going to mail mine, I'm not going to glue that. So that's my first envelope. So yeah, pretty fast. If you're just doing one, it's not something that would take you forever anyway if you want to make your own envelopes from your big images from I should have put a a glue book underneath, but I can just wipe my desk clean afterwards. Yeah, so just in this one I am going, because it's the wallpaper, I'm going to use the art glitter glue. Just because this kind of has a vinyl finish to it. And I would probably put this underneath a book, or inside a big book for a while, just to Press it, press it down really well. And this one I'm going to use the art glitter glue too because it's the parchment paper. This one glue stick is good. So the most time consuming of this is obviously cutting them out and I mean making the template is f fast. Gluing is fast as you can see. Mm. And this one I probably put in a book for a little while too just to press it down and to train it to stay in that the position that I glued it down in just the parchment paper there and of course these can be decorated more still wondering about this one I do it this and of course you can use scrapbook paper printed papers from kits maybe I will use this side um, printables anything I just wanted to use some book pages my bigger images because I got that I have so many atlases and things so there's one two 
three. Maybe I'll put all of these in a big book. Four. Oh, sorry, it's pretty glary. That was from the books. Five. Six. Parchment paper. Seven. Another parchment. Eight. The wallpaper. Nine. Book page. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. So we made twelve envelopes in about half an hour. So you can definitely do this fast. It's even something you can easily do in front of the TV. I like to do stuff in front of the TV. I can't just sit and watch TV. I don't know. I feel like I need to keep busy. So this is definitely something you can do in front of the TV. If you just make your, you know, draw the image on your pages on a table. Oh, look at how dirty my hands are from the um, paper. And um, then you can do the cutting and the gluing in front of the TV. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope this was uh, fun for you. It was fun for me. I will decorate some of these envelopes and definitely use them in upcoming projects. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I hope to see you soon. Um, bye.